Many families are preparing to spend the holidays together, but for those who serve our country, that's not always an option. Several volunteers from the First Presbyterian Church of Marquette are sending troops a taste of the holiday season. All year we look forward to this. People from the community come and join us. Our congregation gathers in. We bring um, wish list items here and we pack up a Christmas stocking for troops that are deployed overseas at Christmas time. The First Presbyterian Church of Marquette has been hosting this event for the past 10 years. And Jacqueline tells me each year it gets better. We get the responses back that they're just so pleased to have a little taste of home when they can't be home to enjoy it. And it's just us sending our love and cheer to them, knowing that they're away from their families at Christmas. Each stocking is stuffed with snacks, hygiene products, and handwritten notes from volunteers. The group is set to send 100 stockings overseas this year. Tom Manson, a member of the First Presbyterian Church, says this event is especially important to him because his grandson is currently overseas. I think getting something from home out of unexpectedly is uh, always a treat. Uh, they'll go through this candy in about two minutes, I'm sure, <laughs> and I'm sure they'll have a good time. Manson says the community loves to spread joy and give back. Uh, this community, I think, look, just as you look, everybody's working together and it's kind of fun. And it's a thing you look forward to every year. It's uh, interesting to see how well you can jump up uh, goods for the troops to send over there. And that takes a little effort and time. It's well worth it. Jacqueline ends by telling me. Upper Peninsula residents are really generous, giving, caring individuals. And we get to share that love far, far away. Many people are, are, don't even know where the Upper Peninsula is on a map until they receive our Christmas stockings. So it's really fun.